As much as I love sitting down and taking my time to get ready, there is always a time and a place for a solid five minute face routine. And I have my five minute face routine locked down. This has been my current everyday look. It literally takes me five minutes, especially if I'm not talking to the camera, but I wanted to show it with you guys today. It's products that I've been using for a really long time. They are tried and true. They look so good all day long and they're just foolproof. So I'm gonna show you guys my five minute routine. I asked you in my last video if you wanted to see my everyday routine and like all of you guys wanted to. So here we go. Normally when I'm in a rush, I don't bother putting primer on. I just go straight into foundation and I am still loving and using my NARS light reflecting foundation. I use mine in the shade Mont Blanc. It is incredible. I love this so much. I'll do usually about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. And to make things go pretty fast, I like to go ahead and just take that off the back of my hand with a foundation brush and just start literally buffing it into the skin. I start on the areas that I have most redness and need more coverage, which is the cheeks for me. And I literally just buff this quickly all over the face. I love this for how lightweight it feels, but it also gives great coverage. A little bit goes a long way, which I've actually found that the less product I use on my base, the better it looks when you wear it for an entire day because when it wears off, there's not much of a difference between where your foundation is and where it might you know, rub off throughout the day. Cause you can still kind of see my skin through this. So it just wears so well on me. I have been beyond obsessed with this foundation for a long time now. Then I'll take my sponge and just pick up what's left on the back of my hand and just go over the face just to make sure there's no brush marks. And keep in mind you guys that this is a routine that can be used with any type of product. So you could just use your current favorite foundation, current favorite concealer and do the same exact steps. These are obviously the ones that I personally just can't put down and they're just my most reliable right now. But feel free to follow along with your current favorites. For concealer, I am still in love with this. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have mine in the shade Light. I literally just do about a half a pump on the back of my hand and I'll take that same exact sponge and just dip it into the product and go straight into the under eye area with this using my sponge. I just find that, you know, when I need to do my makeup in a pinch, this is the easiest way for me to apply concealer. I'll even pick up some of that color and go over blemishes because it's not too light of a concealer. It definitely cancels out the darkness underneath my eyes, but I feel like it kind of matches my skin tone well. So I find that I can use it over blemishes too, if needed. I like to make sure to take what's left on the sponge and just conceal this inner corner of the eye as well as my eyelid. After that, I go into my Huda Beauty powder. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake. This does have a little bit of a light pink undertone. All over my face, I don't think it really looks pink or anything like that. Under the eyes, it kind of brightens, but it blends into my skin tone pretty well. So I'll just tap a little bit into the lid. And I've been doing it a little differently. I do like to set my entire face with powder. So I dip a powder brush into the cap and I start powdering the sides of the face first. This is just slightly different than what I typically do with powder. You guys know I like to take my powder brush, this one right here usually, and I'll like take the time to really press it underneath the eye area and the T-zone and then switch brushes. But lately if I'm in a rush, I literally just dip it into the pan and use the bigger brush to set the entire face. I'll even go underneath the eyes with this and on the eyelids. I just feel like it saves time when I'm able to kind of consolidate the number of tools that I'm using. A lot of times too, at this step in like a normal routine where I'm not trying to necessarily save a bunch of time, I'll go in with my sponge and kind of press things down right now, but I usually skip this step with a five minute face routine and go straight into bronzer. I've been actually using my Gucci bronzer quite a bit. Any pressed powder bronzer will work for this. The Physicians Formula ones are great. I have so many favorites, but I've been reaching for this one because I just really love the tone and undertone that it gives. And it's just been sitting on my desk. So it's genuinely what's been in my everyday routine lately. So I just take this on my bronzer brush and I just start to warm up the complexion. Setting the entire face with a little bit of translucent powder helps the powder bronzer blend super well. So that way I'm not sitting here, you know, buffing and blending my bronzer out for too long. It literally just blends itself out. I like to bring it down kind of into the brows a little bit and then take what's left and kind of go across the nose. I just find that doing this kind of helps 
save time with tools as well because I always like to put bronzer on my eyes, but just by taking like the bigger brush and you can even dip back into your bronzer and just taking a large brush to sweep across the eyes, it gives a very similar effect and then cuts down on time and tools again. Okay, so I really like how things look. Typically now I will go into blush. So I've been using my Pat McGrath Labs blush in the shade Flirtatious quite a bit on an everyday basis. This just works across any occasion, no matter what color I'm wearing, what my outfit is or whatever, this goes well with it all. Plus it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So if for some reason I don't feel like I have time to or I don't wanna wear highlighter, I like the slight luminous finish that this gives. So I'm just smiling and applying this to the apples of the cheeks. I also feel like this color blends into the Gucci bronzer color really nicely, which I love. And same thing here, you can kind of go across the nose a little. Feel free to take this into the eyes like this. Sometimes I even throw it onto the forehead a little and on the chin, just so I have a little bit of that color all over. I think it just looks really healthy. For me, I feel like brows take the longest. I feel like I've gotten a little bit quicker over the years, but I still always have to like hold really still and hold a mirror super close to my face to be able to do my brows. So I'm just gonna take my Benefit, precisely my brow pencil, and just start to shape these out. You know, I should give myself more credit. I do feel like I can do my brows a lot quicker than I used to, but it always makes me a little bit nervous. I feel like to be able to match both brows as best as I can when I'm in a rush, it usually is something that I do have to slow down on just to make sure my brows aren't like crooked, you know? Cause that's happened to me before. I've rushed a little too quickly and then I look in the mirror when I'm already out the door and I'm like, oh boy, I accidentally make myself, you know, have an emotion on my brows cause I didn't slow down enough. I feel like that's why I have to have a brow pencil that has a spoolie on the other side. Otherwise, it's just, you're switching tools way too much. It's gonna waste time to like hop back and forth because I just feel like brushing out the brows not only makes it look more natural, but it also erases mistakes. <laughs> so it's so nice to just be able to flip the pencil back and forth like that. Okay, so now I usually hop into mascara. So normally you guys know I love to put bronzer on the eyes, but since we already applied a bit of color using the larger brush, I'm just gonna skip using an eyeshadow brush altogether. I'm not even gonna do anything on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go straight into my mascara. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is still my go-to when it comes to every day. And this time I'm actually gonna focus the mascara on the top lashes only. I do put a little bit on the lower lash line, but not that much, I'll show you. And I kind of like to drag it outward like this way. I don't know, I just think it looks cute. Same thing on that eye. It also helps me to look down into a mirror when I'm doing my mascara quickly, because if I'm looking up, sometimes I tend to accidentally hit the mascara onto my eyelid and that just like, you know, wastes more time because you have to wait for it to dry, to buff it off. So just to avoid as many mistakes as possible, I do find it helpful to look down in a mirror when you're applying your mascara quickly. I'm just gonna apply a bit of mascara on the outer third of the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And I typically do like to use a lip liner of sorts. I've been bouncing between a few, but I've actually been really loving this new one that I bought. This is from Patrick Ta. It's in the shade She's Humble. The reason why I've been reaching for this quite a bit is because I feel like it's not too dramatic of a color. And don't get me wrong, I love doing a really soft, you know, complexion and something very subtle on the eyes. And then you can really play around with the lip at this point. But this is just genuinely what I've been doing for that no makeup makeup kind of <laughs> look in a short amount of time because it is not too deep of a color. It, it's very close to my natural lip color. I feel like I can throw it on in two seconds and just run out the door. I like the shape of this pencil too, I'll show you. It has a bit of like an angle to it. And so I feel like it's easy to line and fill in the lips with this, which makes it nice because if you're like me and you typically fill in your lips with lip liner, it's just really fast. It's a very easy way to do that. And then I'll usually apply a gloss of some sort. I've been really into the Patrick Ta plumping glosses. I've also been using the um, Rare Beauty gloss or the the balm, whatever that is. It's in a tube and it's like a lip balm. You could also use a clear gloss. So again, this is like not really product specific at this point. You could throw on whatever lip you want. I've also been wearing things like this Revlon color. This is in the shade Unlimited Mulberry. You could do whatever you want. I'm gonna use the shade 2CC's though. This is the typical shade that I use with this look or I'll use the red color. But since we're doing something a little bit more subtle, I'll use this nice pink color instead. And I just apply that on top. 
I always do a very quick assess the situation. Usually that means that I apply a little more bronzer. So I'm gonna do just that. I actually feel like I want a little more blush. It's funny because in the camera or in the uh, viewfinder, it always looks like I'm wearing less blush than I actually am. So sometimes I feel like I need to add more for the camera. But you know, if you're doing your makeup in natural light, just use that as your guide. And then sometimes if I maybe have like 10 minutes or whatever, I'll use the Say highlighter and just dab that onto the cheeks. But for this, you know, I really wanted to show you my genuine five minute face. I always use a setting spray because what's the point of even a five minute face if it's not gonna last as long as possible? So I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional. If I need it to stay all day, even if it's a simple look, I always go for my Charlotte Tilbury one. So yeah, it just depends on the occasion. But for today, I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna spray it all over. And this is where we go back into the sponge now, where you guys know I usually do this like 14 times throughout my routine. I'll go back in and just press this down and it just makes everything look more skin-like and more fresh. I'm always in the habit of putting a little more powder on the T-zone for myself because I always get oily there. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take my brow gel I really need a new one of this. I think I already said that I was gonna get a new one. I have it somewhere. I just need to go find it in my makeup stash. But this is my handy dandy Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this stuff, you guys already know. And there you have it. That's my five minute face. I know this video is probably not gonna be five minutes because I was explaining things to you, but I swear to you, if I'm just zoned in, I can do this in seriously minutes flat. And it's something that I've put to the test over and over. And it just makes me feel cute. It makes me feel put together. It also lasts all day. And I just feel, I don't know, really fresh, but also it's enough to where I feel like I really put an effort, even though it didn't take me much time at all. So that's my everyday routine. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it, even though it's products that I've used before and talked about so many times. I always like seeing people's everyday routines because I think it really shows, you know, their go-tos. And like I said, even though these are my current go-tos, you can really mix and match here. You do not need a Gucci bronzer to be able to bronze up the face. Um, you could definitely use a drugstore gloss, but this is genuinely the products that I've been wearing and it's a very trustworthy routine for me. So I wanted to make sure to share it with you with all the products that I use. I wanna hear from you in the comments down below. Let me know what your current go-to everyday products are. Is anyone else on the NARS foundation boat with me? I can go from everyday casual to super glam with this foundation. It's literally still my go-to. I'm just curious to see if anyone else is as in love with this foundation as I am or any of these products or if there's something I didn't use. I just wanna know what you guys are using. So be sure to comment that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. Family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.